My dearest Martha, I miss you so much. Life makes sense when we are together. This war no longer makes sense to me. When I signed up, oh, it seemed like a thousand lifetimes ago. Everything seemed so simple. We were going to express our rights as states to do as we goddamn well pleased and hang whatever any fools in the north told us. I can't believe now this was a principle I would die for. And yet, it is a principle I have seen so many men I grew up with be slaughtered for. I can't fucking read. That and their own stupid pride. We southerners are such proud fools. Now I'm only proud about one thing. The love I share with you. You, a Yankee. Go Red Sox. <laughs> And a bolshevist, everything I'm supposed to hate. Now, love so dear, how can you love me back when I'm such a fool? I cannot wait for this war to end. I fought many times about running away, but General Harris has taken to shooting deserters. I'm still too full for dinner. I can't desert yet. <laughs> I'm still too proud to allow for that. It seems we are. <clears throat> Where were we? Um. Proud for that. It seems we are heading towards an enemy camp in Scarlet Meadows for one last battle. We have almost no chance of winning. Our morale is almost entirely spent. And the Yankees is too, far too strong. But after the accusations of cowardice leveled against General Harris for his failure to support General Quinn last month and all that drama, he seems hell-bent on the fight. I even heard, overheard Major Smith complaining in the offices mess about General... Ah, oh, fuck! I can't fucking read. In the officer's mess about General Harris, none of his junior officers trust him very much anymore. I hope I do not die. Not because I care to fix myself, but because of the sadness it would bring to you. I miss you. Yours. I hate Mondays. Garfield. Look, I've been 